kindness to animals. Baha'i Briefly, it is not only their fellow human beings that the beloved of God must treat with mercy and compassion, rather must they show forth the utmost loving kindness to every living creature. Be ye the embodiment of justice and fairness amidst all creation. Buddhism A state that is not pleasing or delightful to me, how could I inflict that upon another? All tremble at violence, all fear death, putting oneself in the place of another. One should not kill nor cause another to kill. One is not a great one because one defeats or harms other living beings. One is so-called because one refrains from defeating or harming other living beings. Hurt not others with that which pains you yourself. At the opening of ant hills, please have trustworthy men always put food and water, sugar and piles of grain. All Buddhas and Bodhisattvas essentially practice the principle of great compassion. The suffering of living beings brings forth their great compassion. From this great compassion emerges the great wisdom, and with this great wisdom they attain the ultimate enlightenment. People who eat meat will fall into the horrible paths of transmigration and suffer boundless pain. People who eat meat will never succeed in getting any blessing or merit that they pray for. Meat eaters cause the celestial beings to avoid them and other sentient beings to be afraid of them. Kasyapa asked the Buddha, why did the Lord previously allow bhikshus to eat the three pure meats or even nine pure meats? The Buddha said, it was so instituted following the need of the occasion and as gradual steps in the actual segregation from eating meat. All the saints aboard eating blood or flesh, celestial beings never go near people who eat meat as their mouths always had a foul smell. Meat is not good, meat is unclean. Meat eating generates evils and destroys merits and blessings. All the saints denounce eating meat. I forbid all meat eating, regardless of whether the animal dies naturally or is killed. I have never allowed my disciples to eat meat. I will not allow in the present or future. All sentient beings came from the same origin. Through myriad reincarnations, all sentient beings have been relatives of each other. How can we eat the meat of our relatives? People who eat meat are destroying the great merciful seat of their own Buddha nature, and any sentient being seeing them would leave them. Therefore, all bodhisattvas or spiritual practitioners must refrain from eating the flesh of any sentient beings, as this will incur boundless sin. Christianity do to others as you want them to do to you. Let the law of kindness show no limits, show a loving consideration for all God's creatures. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. It is contrary to human dignity to cause animals to suffer and die. Woe to the shepherds who only take care of themselves. Should not the shepherds take care of the flock? Do not be among those who give themselves to wine drinking or among those who make themselves full with meat. Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats. And when you spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yea, when you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of innocent blood. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. For I tell you truly, he who kills, kills himself. And who eats the flesh of slain beasts, eat of the body of the death. For in his blood every drop of their blood turns to poison, in his breath their breath to stink, and in his flesh their flesh to boils, in his bones their bones to chalk, in his bowels their bowels to decay in his eyes their eyes to scales, in his ears their ears to waxy issue, and their death will become his death. Kill not, neither eat the flesh of your innocent prey, lest you become the slaves of Satan, for that is a path of sufferings, and it leads unto death. But do the will of God, and his angels may serve you on the way of life. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb-bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, and which is the fruit of a tree-yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is breath of life, I have given every green herb for meal, and it was so. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. Thou shalt not kill. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is, than a stalled ox and hatred therewith. Jesus said, I will have mercy, and not sacrifice. 
St. Paul, it is good neither to eat flesh, nor to drink wine, nor anything whereby thy brother stumbleth, or is offended, or is made weak. Confucianism and Taoism Benefit living creatures and human beings. Cultivate goodness and happiness. What you do not want done to yourself, do not do to others. Respect the old and cherish the young. Even insects, grass, and trees you must not hurt. Those who want to know the truth of the universe should practice reverence for all life. This manifests as unconditional love and respect for oneself and all other beings. Buy captive animals and give them freedom. Hinduism Those who have forsaken the killing of all, those who are helpmates to all, those who are a sanctuary to all, those men are in the way of heaven. Ahimsa or nonviolence is the highest dharma. Ahimsa is the best tapas. Ahimsa is the greatest gift. Ahimsa is the highest self-control. Ahimsa is the highest sacrifice. Ahimsa is the highest power. Ahimsa is the highest friend. Ahimsa is the highest truth. Ahimsa is the highest teaching. The mode of living which is founded upon a total harmlessness towards all living creatures is the highest morality. What is the good way? It is the path that reflects on how it may avoid killing any creature. Protect both our species, two-legged and four-legged, both food and water for their needs supply. May they with us increase in stature and strength. Save us from hurt all our days, O powers. May all beings look at me with a friendly eye. May I do likewise, and may we all look on each other with the eyes of a friend. Islam There is not an animal on the earth nor a flying creature on two wings, but they are people like unto you. Whoever is kind to all creatures of God is kind to himself. Treat others as you would be treated. What you like not for yourself, dispense not to others. Seest thou not that it is Allah whose praise all beings in the heavens and on earth do celebrate, and the birds of the air with wings outspread? Each one knows its own mode of prayer and praise, and Allah knows well all that they do. A good deed done to an animal is as meritorious as done to human being while an act of cruelty to an animal is as bad as an act of cruelty to a human being. All creatures are like a family of God, and He loves the most those who are the most beneficent to His family. Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Where there is an abundance of vegetables, a host of angels will descend on that place. He who takes pity even on a sparrow and spares its life, Allah will be merciful on him on the day of judgment. Their flesh and their blood reach not Allah, but the devotion from you reacheth Him. Thus have we made them subject unto you that ye may magnify Allah, that he hath guided you, and give good tidings, O Muhammad, to the good. At one time the Rasul of Allah said to his cousin Ali, O Ali, you should not eat meat. If you eat meat for forty days, those qualities will come within you. Those actions will come within you. Their blood will come within you. Their qualities and their actions will come within you. Because of that, your human qualities will change. Your compassionate qualities will change. The essence of your body will change. O oh, Ali, you should not eat meat or flesh. You have to diminish that. Do not eat that. Jainism Therefore neither does he, a sage, cause violence to others, nor does he make others do so. A man should wander about treating all creatures as he himself would be treated. Those whose minds are at peace or who are free from passions do not desire to live at the expense of others. One should not injure, subjugate, enslave, torture, or kill any animal, living being, organism, or sentient being. This doctrine of nonviolence is immaculate, immutable, and eternal. Just as suffering is painful to you, in the same way it is painful, disquieting, and terrifying to all animals, living beings, organisms, and sentient beings. Have benevolence towards all living beings. Non-injury to living beings is the highest religion. This is the quintessence of wisdom, not to kill anything. All breathing, existing, living sentient creatures should not be slain, nor treated with violence, nor abused, nor tormented, nor driven away. This is the pure, unchangeable law. Therefore cease to injure living things. 